In this video, I am going to teach you how to create e-commerce card system with provider in MBBM architecture. So I am using this fake API. You can also use this fake API. This is my uh, empty project. Okay, so let's start. Firstly, I create the structure. Model view and view model. Okay. One more folder required that is a repository. Just copy this and inside the view, we will create one dot file. Stateful widget. Here we will fetch all the APIs, uh, APIs data in list. Okay. Let's import this. Firstly, we will create model of, of this API. So, firstly, I'll create the rating model for this data. Create class I am going to face this rate inside the rating only I am taking this rate parameter so the rate is in double Now we will create factory of this model. Inside this from JSON, we will create map. And now we will return this. So our rating model is completed. Now we will create one more model that is for this. Uh, that will be the product model. You can define any name. Inside the product model, we will take one title, price, and image. Then title is in a string, so we will take the string. And the price is in double.
and image is in string and uh, we will pass rating model here also we will call this rating model now we will create the constructor cons constructor of this all parent all variables Now we will create factory and here from JSON inside from JSON we will pass map string dynamic and then it will be the object will be JSON and then we will return product model inside the product model we will pass title and title will be of title and price will be to double And in rating model, we will uh, we'll use this like rating model dot from JSON inside the from JSON we will pass this JSON uh, JSON and then the name of the JSON which is coming that is rating so paste here our product model class is also completed now we will create repository class where we will fetch uh, the API all the responses firstly we will import some packages http provider http is for api fetch and provider is for state management i'm using this and now here we will import http as http and then create class product repository and then inside the product repository we will take variable Client and now we will create the method. Sorry, we will create the future. Inside the future, we will pass our list that is of product model. That will be of sync and now inside this we will fetch all the responses so here client.get uri.parse and inside the parse we will pass our url from we are getting the whole response Okay. Now we will check either the response is response is status code is 200 or not. If 200 is not available, then we will return 
null if available uh, if the response is available then we will decode this uh, json uh, response json decode and inside json decode will pass response dot body so now we will get all the responses and uh, and now we will now we will convert this map into the list there are two methods to convert so first method is And inside this, uh, uh, in product model, we will set all the response data. So, product model dot from JSON inside the JSON, uh, we will pass this JSON, which is in G. Okay. And firstly, we have to create one list here, and then product model, and here we will add all the responses which is available in product model, which we have added recently, and just pass this. Now we can return this product list. Okay, this is the one way, but I am not using this way. pass e and then convert it to list ok so in return we are passing the list our repository product repository class is also completed now we will create view model and extend with change notifier because we are using provider inside change notifier In this product list, uh, we will add our all responses, okay, which is in product repository. So, so we will create one method here.
and now here we will call product repository dot dot fetch all products in this method okay we are we are getting all the responses in a list so now in the product list dot add we'll add all the product check if the product is not null then we will add okay now i think everything is okay now we will create one more method for loading purpose if the data is not available in the list then we will show the loading indicator so we will create one method and then inside and uh, we will call this method here and pass false if the loading in indicator will be false then we'll, uh, we can see this all api into the list okay now everything is okay i think and then in the home page we will take one variable and then product to model equals to product dot of and inside this we will call product view model and then here context and this end will be false ok and then sorry provider then we need to import this and also import this view model and now we'll have to call uh, we will have to call this method get all products Okay, get all products here. Okay. So 
now inside this inside this we will fetch all the apis now so here we will pass our view model and then builder it will take three parameters first one is context second one is data uh, means which is coming from product view model and third one is child and then we will return this We will also have to use item count here and inside the word item count we will pass list length dot product list dot length okay and here we will return the widget And inside this <coughs> you can decorate your widget according to your need okay uh, firstly I am taking one network image uh, to show this image. Okay, firstly, so data dot product list, and then we we'll pass index, and then dot image, and then fit. box fit cover and we will define height uh, that will be of 150 so this block is for image and we will also show image sorry title this title So in this we will get the title of the product okay
and this is for rating model dot rate dot to string and in main dot, dot main dot dot file we will have to add provider dot debug check invalid value type equals to null and uh, in material app multi provider and inside the multi provider we will have to call providers and uh, inside the provider change notify provider here we will pass a view model and then context and uh, here we will pass sorry product view model now let's check the application Yes, the product is successfully displaying. Okay.
everything is fine so uh, we forget to add progress indicator before uh, fetching our API so in the view model uh, we have defined is loading so before list view builder we will call data dot is loading and then and here in the center we will call circular progress indicator and then color will be blue okay Just let's check Yes, our progress indicator is also uh, working fine uh, before API call. So let's move to the card section. For the card section, firstly we will add uh, add to card button here. Here. Okay, add to cart button is added and uh, we'll also add have bar to show the total no no so okay have bar then inside the title We'll take one action and inside the action, we'll take one icon, icon start shopping cart, and
okay i have added one cart icon with uh, cart count text and when we will add this uh, product into the cart then uh, the cart item will increase or decrease so in the product view model we will create method to firstly we will create one more list here that will be of cart list and then we will create method add cart and here and inside the cart list dot add in the cart list we will add uh, the the value which is coming from the uh, list which we will add uh, from here and we will press this add to cart button and then here we will pass item the product model and here we will notify this we will create one more method remove cart and then remove this and then clear cart and inside the clear cart we will clear this cart list ok and now here we will get uh, the count of the product which is available in cart list so for count count cart and then dot length by uh, count cart uh, we will get the count of the product which is available in the cart list and uh, we will take one more for price calculation so double the price will be of double because uh, the price is in double in model so we will cal calculate all the prices which is prices of the product which is available in the cart list so here total price cart list dot fold here we will pass 0 and then uh, we will add this previous value and element element dot price ok by this we will get the total price of the products ok and now we will fetch this inside the home page so just cut this container and here we will write consumer and write product model product view model sorry and context data and child 
now we will return that container which we have copied now by this data by this data data dot uh, count card we will have to use this count card to get the total count of the cart items dot to string ok and uh, in the button we will set the conditions so that is different data here data dot cart list dot contains uh, if the same product is available in the cart list available in the cart list then the button will show added and if not then will show as add to cart Now I am going to add It's not working I think Ok I didn't call add to cart method here so it is not working then here data dot product view model product view model and here dot add to cart method and inside the add to cart we will send this product if already uh, added then we will remove from cart ok then we will remove this product from cart so again run this application and then check either it is working or not now I am going to press this product so it's working uh, the button is changed to added and the item is also changed to 1 now again I am pressing this another product so you can see the product item is no, sorry the cart item is changing and the button is also changed uh, if you want to remove this product from the cart then we need to press this uh, added button again and then the count will decrease from 2 to 1 uh, you can check this uh, you can see this uh, the product count is uh, decreasing so it's working fine how we will create the cart page yes so let's create the cart page here
now we will create one more one product view model variable here provider then we will pass product view model here and here context relation false think uh, Here we will create this view dot builder. Okay. In the item count, we will pass the length of the cart list. So, cart list dot cart list dot length, and now here we will return we will return this widget. So inside the row we will take uh, image and in the network image sorry wrap this list view builder with consumer so cut this and then write consumer and in consumer product view model and here we we'll pass builder Context data and then child. Okay, and inside the return, uh, we return the list view builder. Okay, in the network image data dot cart list dot. Sorry, cart list, and then we'll pass index here dot image, and we'll define height 50, width will be 50, and the border, the radius will be of 100. So this is the image and uh, here we will take text which will show the product uh, title data dot art list
and we will wrap inside the expanded and after this we will take one icon remove icon and the color will be of let's check this application to we will have to uh, set navigation uh, to navigate when we will click this uh, cart icon then we will have to navigate from home page to cart page so in the home page in the container we will, we will wrap, wrap inside inkwell then on tab here navigator dot push material route here we will pass context and after context uh, we will have to write the page where, where we will have to navigate ok And inside the scaffold, we will take a bar and let's check add to cart, add to cart, and then navigate. Yes, now you can see the two products uh, is showing here and uh, in the cross button we will remove this product then we will uh, press this cross icon ok so in the product view model just copy this remove cart and dot remove cart and here we will pass the current product ok and now wrap this inside container And just run this and let's check one more thing to do to cut wrap inside container and 
now you can see everything is uh, looking fine okay and now we are going to add more product you can see many products are there and uh, when we will press this cross icon uh, you can see the product is also removing ok and also you can see the uh, card count is also decreasing if we delete this then you can see this is true and now we will have to uh, show the product prices here in the so here we will use consumer Okay, and in my cart, uh, just arrive this with photo. and uh, And here we will write total total price that is of data one dot total price dot two stream. Okay. Data one dot con dot let's check the application you can see the card count is showing here and the total price is also showing here uh, when we will remove this uh, one product then you can see the changes one items in the product sorry in the card and the price is 22.3 ok let's remove this and again uh, again add any new product you can see sorry I think the price is in double so it's Uh, now you can see the card count is 5 there are 5 products available and the total price of the 5 items are uh, this amount ok that's all for the video if you like the video then like share and subscribe my channel